Hi, my name is Fabio Barazano. In uh, past videos I show you some uh, breakout board, do-it-yourself breakout board for an ADXL 345 accelerometer and I, an ITG 3200 gyroscope. Today I show you how I program I program an uh, a very simple IMU inertial measurement unit filter for these uh, two chips and actually the code the code ideas and most of the implementation come from this website which is starlino.com you will find a direct link to the to this very good uh, written guide on my on the um, blog post with, uh, with this uh, video so I do have here two uh, two programs one is uh, Arduino code and simply reads the data coming from the Radixel 345 accelerometer and ITG 3200. Both the chips are connected in parallel in parallel on the I2C bus and connected to the Arduino. Well, what we what I'm doing doing uh, here, it's uh, I did two implementation of the IMU uh, filter orientation filter. The first one is um, it's uh, simply reading all the data from the sensor on the Arduino and then the sensor filtering orientation filtering is done is on the on the computer in this uh, very simple processing code. The other implementation uh, all the IMU filtering is done inside the Arduino. Well, I show you both of the version and you'll see you can uh, see and uh, download all the code from my personal website. So now I'm gonna start uh, this processing application here and that's it. Well, that's how this works as you can see it looks really 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 stable it's look pretty it looks pretty accurate and if I if I move the if I move the breakup board the breadboard um, the readings doesn't there there is not a lot of um, of noise because the 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 values from the accelerometer are somehow compensated f thanks to the um, reading from the gyroscope so instead here you will see that we have uh, the um, what are expected to be the um, the vectors uh, the ground the vector to the um, well this is the um, the reading the reading coming from the accelerometer converted to uh, g acceleration this is the x y and z so this is basically the um, the gravity vector read read from the accelerometer here we have the um, uh, values read from the gyroscope the the itg 3200 reads values in uh, degrees uh, over second so this is uh, the the rotations this is, these are the rotations on the on the x y and z axis here instead we have the um, instead here we have uh, other two uh, values which are computed in our algorithm for all the details, um, you should read the very good 
starlino.com introduction to emu filtering topic so that's it I also have here the final um, gravity vector estimation which is compensated which is the let's say the fusion between the the values read from the accelerometer compensated with the reading from the gyroscope so that's the final uh, res result of the algorithm here instead we have a uh, we can say the the projection the projection on of the gravity vector on uh, the x y and this is the z axis so that's it when i move it you can see that the vector it's placed on the on the values on, on the on the right place no so while uh, on the bottom you can see the cube that's it rotating so i think this is uh, even if it's pretty uh, simple algorithm i would say that it's uh, pretty nice it's uh, it works uh, pretty good and well that's it here you have um, all the all the reading all the values on all the results and it's simply a matter of rotating the, the cube according to the the computed values from the algorithm i now show you an, uh, the the other implementation which instead is uh, it's uh, exactly the same algorithm but it's implemented directly on uh, Arduino so the um, the computation the sensor fusion is not done done on the computer but it's actually done in the in the Arduino microprocessor so this is the the kind of approach one would use using this um, sensor for example in a robot on or in a quadcopter an helicopter and a, or anything else which has a which doesn't have a, a computer connected to it so uh, that's uh, this is the code you will find it on my website i now upload it to Arduino ok and now I start the processing apps application and basically it's just the same it's the same uh, the same of, of the, the other one but uh, you can understand that this time everything is implemented on the Arduino so this is uh, something very cool if you if you need to do uh, if you need to detect the the position on your robot on your quadcopter and so on so it looks like the Arduino it's uh, can uh, can pretty do the algorithm uh, really good as you can see it works very very good the only thing i had to change was the band height of the of the serial connection because before i used the 960 uh, bouts now i'm using a slightly faster connection but anyway it works very good the I needed to do to in, increase the bandwidth because uh, I wanted to to get uh, everything from the from the Arduino. So I need I need more more speed on the connection. So that's it. You this is uh, what I what I created the past days now that's it
you are free to take the code and uh, use, it on, use it on your project so that's it thanks uh, for watching and goodbye